So we're back um, with some of explanation to some of the techniques that missionaries use to deceive Muslims into converting to Christianity. And uh, Laya did a lot of research on, on these things and how they try to, you know, uh, twist information. And subhanAllah, like, they'll attack the Quran and some things they have no clue about. They have no clue whatsoever. And then, and then when he proves them, they'll be like, well, you guys attack the Bible saying, you know, you know. SubhanAllah, there's a big difference. Okay, let me tell you. They'll attack the, the, the Bible, uh, the, the Quran, for example. And they'll say, you know, I look at the Quran, look at the way it's written. You know? Why does Allah switch between tenses? Why does Allah talk here? And it seems like Muhammad's talking here, you know? And they're very, very ignorant. Because we know our Quran is in Arabic, okay? You can't apply your grammatical rules to Arabic, right? Come on. Let's say, it's like going to China, and you're like Portuguese, and you say, well, you know what, um, okay, speak, you know, translate whatever you're saying to me in, uh, you know, in, um, in English or whatever, but apply Portuguese rules of grammar. Makes no sense. It makes no sense, okay? It just makes no sense. How, how are you going to push? Your, this is part of globalization mentality, you know, you want your way to be pushed on everyone, you know, you want your ideas to be pushed on everyone, same with ethics and everything, you go to any, you know, who the West thinks that they have the best ethics and they're the most civilized, go to East, go to other countries and ask them what they think about the West, and it's usually the same, West will think that, you know, people from there, they're savages, you know? then you go to these people and, you know, you ask, what, what do you think about the West, and they're like, man, their morals are just horrible, you know, they're, and the West always pushes their idea. They think that they have the, the solution for the whole, uh, you know, uh, earth and for all of humankind. They, you know, as long as you accept, you know, uh, democracy, you're, you're just fine. And we know that's not the case. We know it's, it, it fails. It fails everywhere. On every aspect you want to talk about, it fails. Okay? So you can't push your way, your set of, you know, uh, the, the rules of, you know, looking at things on other people. So you can't judge the Quran with the eyes they read the Bible, for example. You can't judge the Quran with, uh, you know, your gramma grammatical, you know, um, rules uh, for English. So don't even try to go there. Don't even try to, you know, attack. At least if you find that you don't know, just leave it. Go to move to something else that you can at least attack properly. Just move to something else. Why, why waste your time? You know what I mean? Then people, they'll be like, why well, you guys attack the Bible and blah, 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 you know? Listen, there's a big difference. We don't take our Quranic, uh, you know, translation as our set of rules and laws. Okay? That's just for people who don't really understand Arabic properly. You know, they want to read and understand some things in the Quran, right? But you use your translation of the Bible, and that's the word of God for you, pretty much. Okay? You use you 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 legis you pray with that. That's for you. It's everything. You legislate from that. Everything that you quote from there, you know, to make it's from uh, you know based on. You don't even have no clue about Hebrew or Aramaic or even Greek for that matter, okay? So let's not even go to that. Now let's push that aside and be like, you know what? Just admit that you have no grounds to stand upon in there, okay? Just do that. If you're fair, just do that. Just do that, okay? Okay, keep moving. Distortion of information and lies. Again, I asked last time, does Jesus teach that? And then we find that Jesus doesn't, so why do you do it? Why do you try to confuse people who are, subhanAllah, you know, we're talking about African countries and people who are Muslims are very oppressed, they're, they're hungry and, you know, they're in psychological, you know, uh, problems. And you find that the missionaries go in a slow time. Why do you take advantage of these people, subhanAllah? People who sometimes have no knowledge. They're going to convert them to Christianity. Shame on you. Shame on you. Allah, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on anyone who tries to you know, twist information, tries to make mockery out of people through, you know, through twisting and lying, okay? You should know what you're talking about, subhanAllah. But even us as Muslims, we should know exactly what we're talking about when we, when we debate or talk to Christians or anything about anything, you know? So subhanAllah, uh, we looked at, uh, it's, it's a very, very critical situation in here, and no one's out there really for the truth. Uh, people are just wanting to argue and they just want to you know have numbers they just want to convert 
people. I just want to have, you know, conversion, you know, at the end of the year statistics, you know, uh, that's what it means. Yes, this this is there to prove a point, okay, no problem. I really, you know, I'll accept your statistics of 6 million people or whatever, okay? That's not a problem. But that's not what you should aim for, subhanAllah. It's not who has the most. It's what's the truth out there, subhanAllah. What's why people? What situation people are coming to the faith? What are the circumstances that people are coming to the faith? Okay. You look at you know throughout a lot of the research that is found, a lot of the people who left Islam are because they were either abused, or they had some problems with people who you know look you know some somehow high figures in you know in the Muslim community, or, and they're like, oh my God, what is this thing? And someone came to them like, oh, Muhammad teaches this and this and that. Subhanallah, you have no clue what Muhammad teaches you. We have, you know, people don't have any clue what Muhammad teaches them. Yet they attack this person, left and right, subhanAllah. How can you do that when you don't even know something? How can you go and, you know, subhanAllah. So you see the mentality that we're using. We look at the palm and we only see the front, okay? But then when you turn and you see the back as well, there's two sides to every story, okay? We do, do not just judge things from, you know, a very narrow line of view. Look at things from different angles. The palm looks different if I turn this way. It looks different if I go this way. Step back and look at what is real. Look at the whole big pictures. And I'm going to actually concentrate on a lot of these points that people attack on the English, Quran, the English translation. And I will very easily refute them, just for the sake of my Muslim viewers, to have you know, the knowledge to at least not be shaken, not, we shouldn't be in our So even if it's English, I will show you the easy, easy, easy way. Non-apologetic, non this and that, you know, blah, blah, blah. We'll go straight to the back, okay? Inshallah. And um, we have to be strong, subhanAllah, because um, falsehood will perish in front of truth, okay? Falsehood will perish in front of truth. And if we're if we're not gonna be on the train, the truth takes the truth train. It, it will go without us. Okay, it's our choice whether we want to be on this train or not. It is our choice. So my question to all everyone is: Do you want to be on that train?